So while on one hand, I am excited for the Arcanist class, I um, am pretty much only really interested in playing that class and maybe exploring the new zone a little bit. But for the most part, I'm only interested in uh, making a new character because all my characters are, I don't just make builds, you know, I make characters. So um, there's a story to every character, you know, role play is the true end game. And so, I am just looking forward to making a new character and maybe possibly even um, remaking the story that I had began to make with uh, my my other characters, my two main characters, the uh, the two high elf high elven girls. Uh, I had that planned out and I was going to make an ESO lore video with lore books and everything, and I had a computer crash and lost all of that. And I think it was shaping up to be such a cool story. But maybe I might be inspired to take another stab at it um, with the Arcanist class coming up. Because I can make a um I can I can make a character who might be part of that story. So that's kind of exciting. Um But of course there's always fears that comes with anything that ESO does because the developers don't know how to I don't know, maybe it's intentional, um, but they just don't make anything balanced. Everything, almost every new thing that they come out with has some serious, serious imbalance issue that makes it absolutely nightmarish to have to deal with. Uh, and I'm talking about ever since really Prox um, began to really become meta, which was when the game became a lot less fun for me because Praxis carries so hard and it's really toxic in my opinion. Um, but ever since then, you know, there has been uh, Crimson and Dark Convergence and Plague Break and, and even um, Rothgar's Chill when that came out and it was just, one thing after another after another and it's just like i can't deal with this i can't play through this this is this is like pulling teeth it is it is excruciating and i wish somebody from zen max online studios would actually listen to this and listen to feedback but they just i don't i don't know they i don't get it maybe it's the money maybe they need to um come out with busted things on purpose in order to sell content i don't know but if you feel like you need something that's broken or something that carries or something that is even um agreed upon to be an exploit why don't you just i mean admit to yourself that you just need to be better i don't know <laughs> i can't think of a nice way to put that um you know just commit to to working on being better without those things that you that you say you need um, especially if you're dealing with um, anything that you know gives you an unfair advantage and don't use other people using it as an excuse because I don't use it you know if I see something that's like that's broken that needs to be adjusted or that's that's an exploit I don't use it yeah I take a lot of ills but in the end, I'd rather just stand by my principle. So, uh, getting back to the class, some of the things that I like coming out of it is um, it seems to be really um, unique. I like I like how unique the Arcanist class looks and how visually and um, from what I hear, audio-wise, is very impressive. I like all that and that makes me very interested again in, in getting into the class and making a new character. I'm, I'm actually one of the people who enjoys the process of leveling leveling a character. Um, I don't mind the psychic skill grind because I don't power level the character necessarily. So for me, um, like I'm not taking a character to Black Rose Prison and just trying to grind the character up and then like, oh I gotta do psychic order. No, I just, I think it's pretty um, easy to level the character up and do the Sigic Order skill line at the same time and um, 
and it can be kind of you know, it can be a little bit repetitive after you've done it so many times but at the same time you kind of get to to do a lot along the way you get a you get a lot of sky shards you know and again you, when you when you when you're leveling the character you actually need to do all these things but if you've already gotten the character to level 50 because your power leveled it then yeah you don't maybe you feel like you don't want to do it but for me it's a great way to level a new character and i've made a video about that in the past i would just um put some gear you know what i might do this time i might not even craft any um, gear for my new character i might just just go with whatever i pick up like when i first started the game <laughs> just to, because the game is a little bit too easy so maybe i'll make it harder on myself by not having any set bonuses anyway um yeah so the psychic skill order um psychic skill whatever that's not so bad um and i'm looking forward to taking the new character through that and learning how to use it and maybe developing some lore for the character as well now the downside again um no before i get to that before i get to the downside because it was i kind of already touched on that already uh, by saying that it's probably going to be busted and broken <laughs> um another positive what i noticed that they're doing is leaning hard into the class identity and i really like that because i don't like the fact that weapon skills seem to be almost required on a lot of characters and um yeah i think every class should have should have the ability to just play with class skills alone and not have to look outside of their class to get something like uh, different skills and things like that sorry i had a distraction so what i'm hoping they also do is that they revisit the other classes as well and um, I see a sign that they might go in that direction when I um, saw one of the potential changes for the upcoming PTS that Radiant, no not Radiant, um, Solar Barrage which is a skill that I, I still use even though most people don't use it anymore um, that this skill will enhance the damage that your other class skills do so that kind of incentivizes you to use more class skills now that may also bring puncturing sweeps back up to where it used to be in damage if you use those two things together which is something that i would often do in the past anyway so um, i think that's a good change but like i said i think most classes need to be able to have the ability to play without using weapon skills and since i'm mentioning weapon skills i might as well just say that um another thing that i really really need in this game is another weapon skill line or at least another just more skills to use um first i wouldn't mind a vampire was completely redone again but yeah um i would i would really need another weapon skill because i am so the the swords the great sword the maul two handers all play the same staffs all play the same then you have do wheel and then you have short sword and shield so you really don't have a lot of variety with those weapons so we really could use another weapon type on top of another class to really sort of give you more options to play with I really, really need that. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's, the game just feels so limited, really. So, yeah, I hope it was kind of... If they spent half the time and effort into th these things that I'm discussing, the mechanics of the game... Um, and also the aesthetics of the, especially of the um old zones they spent half the time on that that they did and on the on the crafts or not the, the crown store it would be a much different and a much better game so this is not meant to be taken as bashing this is constructive criticism so that's pretty much it for this video i don't want to be going too long so thank you all for listening